25 years earlier, Kazunori Yamauchi, Takahiro Hira, harbored a vision to develop a driving simulator that would democratize the world of racing. This vision would later materialize as Gran Turismo. In Cardiff, Wales, Jan Martinborough, Archie Maidcue, is an ardent enthusiast of Gran Turismo video games and has diligently saved up to acquire a simulator. He resides with his parents, Steve, Jimin Hunsu, and Leslie, Jerry Halliwell Horner, alongside his brother Kobe, Daniel Puig. Jan sustains himself by working at a clothing store. However, Steve, a former footballer, remains unconvinced and unsupportive of Jan's aspirations to become a professional racer, deeming it unrealistic and perilous. Meanwhile, in Tokyo, Danny Moore, Orlando Bloom, a marketing executive at Nissan, arrives at a conference with a groundbreaking proposal. He pitches an idea to potential investors, proposing a contest for Gran Turismo players, granting them an opportunity to transition from virtual to real-world racing for Nissan, potentially boosting car sales. Upon receiving approval for the contest, Danny embarks on a quest to enlist mentors for the aspiring racers. Rejection greets him at every turn until he encounters his last resort, former racer Jack Salter, David Harbour, now working as a mechanic. Danny presents his concept to Jack, who initially rebuffs it, voicing concerns about the potential life-threatening consequences of placing gamers in real race cars. However, after a tense encounter with hot-headed up-and-coming racer Nikki Kappa, Josh Stradowski, Jack has a change of heart, realizing the merit in Danny's proposition. Jan's world takes an unexpected turn when he receives a message inviting him to participate in a simulated race, following an outstanding performance in Gran Turismo at a gamer cafe. A video from Danny unveils the opportunity for top racers to join the newly established GT Academy, with a chance to pursue real racing dreams. Kobe informs Jan of an outdoor gathering with friends, including Jan's crush, Audrey, Maeve Courtier Lily. At first reluctant, Jan decides to attend, striking up a conversation with Audrey, who expresses her desire to travel the world. The gathering is disrupted by the arrival of the police, forcing the teenagers to disperse. On their way back in Steve's car, a friend of Jan and Kobe's attempts to procure beer from a neighboring vehicle, resulting in a minor collision, drawing the attention of the authorities. Jan accelerates away, leading to a brief police pursuit. Though he evades capture, both he and Kobe return home to find a disapproving Steve. Jan accepts responsibility for the damaged mirror. In a rush, Jan is summoned to assist Steve at a rail yard just moments before the simulated race is set to commence. Despite the time constraints, Jan pedals his bike to the cafe and arrives in the nick of time to register. Leveraging his skills developed from playing at home, he overtakes fellow players and clinches first place, securing his entry into the academy. Despite Steve's repeated warnings about the dangers, Jan resolutely reaffirms his determination to prove his detractors wrong, reminding Steve that it was he who instilled in him a love for driving from a young age. Jan's arrival at the GT Academy was accompanied by nine other potential racers, one of them being the confident Matty Davis, played by Darren Barnett. Jack, still skeptical about the whole endeavor, delivered a far from inspiring speech. The group then commenced rigorous driving exercises and physical training. Unfortunately, four racers got disqualified, and Jan found himself on the brink of elimination. During a driving session with Jack, Jan accidentally crashed, despite insisting he had applied the brakes. Later, Jack discovered that the brakes were indeed faulty and informed Jan of another racer's elimination, granting him a spot in the final race. Jan's jubilant shout filled the air. Preparations were made for the qualifying race, where Jan paid tribute to his father by placing a sticker of his father's favorite football team on his helmet. Although he started at the back of the pack, Jan quickly maneuvered his way to the front. In a thrilling race against Maddie, who was in the lead, Jan utilized tactics learned from video games to edge alongside him, resulting in a nail-biting finish. Danny initially thought Maddie had won, but a video replay confirmed that Jan had won by a hair's breadth. Jan's journey to bigger races began, and he received congratulations from his fellow racers, including Maddie. Accompanied by Jack and Danny, Jan embarked on a journey to Austria for races to qualify for an FIA license. Starting from the very last position, Jan gradually moved up through the ranks, except for one race where Nicky bumped his car off course, preventing him from finishing. With one more race to go in Dubai, Jack set the condition that Jan needed to finish at least fourth to secure his license. In a tense race, Jan managed to overtake Nicky, 
prompting the antagonistic driver to push his speed too far and collide with another car. A tire from Nikki's car flew towards Jan's windshield but luckily didn't cause enough damage to stop him from finishing fourth and obtaining his license. Eager to share his success, Jan reached out to Audrey and invited her to Tokyo to witness his official signing with Nissan. Their day together culminated in a dance club where they shared their first kiss. Jan subsequently headed to the Nürburgring track in Germany for another race, watched by Steve and Leslie from home. On the sixth lap, Jan managed to secure second place, but an overly ambitious maneuver caused his car to flip and result in a harrowing crash. His parents were filled with dread as they witnessed the incident on TV, and Jan was rushed to the hospital with Jack at his side. Upon regaining consciousness, Jan received the grim news from Danny and Jack. A spectator had tragically lost their life in the crash, but they assured Jan that it wasn't his fault. Overwhelmed by guilt, Jan broke down and requested solitude, unable to face his parents and blaming himself for the tragedy. Once Jan had fully recovered, Jack took him to the location of his crash and revealed what had ended his own racing career. Jack had been driving at the Le Mans track and was involved in a fatal accident that took another racer's life. Jack quit racing after that and lived with the regret of not realizing his full potential. He implored Jan not to let the same fate befall him, allowing Jan to take the wheel to finish his lap. Jan and Jack rendezvous with Danny, who shares a concerning update about how rival racing teams are actively trying to eliminate sim racers from competition by building cases against them. Undeterred, they remain resolute in their determination to participate in the 24-hour race at Le Mans with their Nismo team, joined by Maddie and fellow GT Academy driver, Antonio Cruz, also known as Pepe Barroso. Upon arriving at Le Mans, Jan finds a supportive gathering, including his family, Audrey, and other GT Academy drivers. Steve makes amends with Jan for not providing the support he needed earlier. As the race kicks off, Jan, Maddie, and Antonio take turns behind the wheel. A rival driver experiences a harrowing fiery crash but thankfully escapes unharmed. When it's Jan's turn to drive, his thoughts become consumed by the incident, causing him to lose focus. Jack comes to the rescue by playing calming tunes from Kenny G and Enya, helping Jan regain his composure. In the final hour and lap of the race, Jan executes a remarkable comeback, dueling fiercely with Nikki. Drawing inspiration from his gaming experience on the Le Mans track and his unique driving style, Jan catches up to Nikki. In a thrilling neck-and-neck -neck race to the finish line, Jan emerges victorious. The entire team and his family rush to the podium to celebrate, while Nikki and his team gracefully accept their defeat. The concluding narrative text highlights the historic impact of Jan Martinborough and Team Nissan's victory at Le Mans, forever altering the landscape of motorsports. To this day, Jan has competed in more than 200 races, and he even had the opportunity to serve as his own stunt double in the film. Side-by-side -side images showcase the real Jan and his family alongside their on-screen counterparts. No. Oh.